given our discussion about vapor pressure and the phase diagram of water, hopefully you understand at this point why there must be a boiling point elevation and a freezing point depression. Further, the minimum is that these are exp expressions that must be memorized. It must be very clear in your mind that this is the way things will occur as a consequence of colligative properties. In terms of boiling point elevation, it can be calculated and the delta T, which is the change in temperature, which will be leading to the elevation of the boiling point, is given by IBM. What an easy equation to remember. Anyway, IBM, and this time it stands for, I stands for the number of particles. B is the boiling point constant. M is the molality. It's not as if you have to memorize a boiling point constant. If it is required, it will be provided to you. The number of particles means the number of particles in that molecule, the number of particles after dissociation. M is the molality in the units moles per kilogram solvent. Some important points about this equation. To begin with, it's a delta T, change in temperature, meaning that let's say that the solvent was water and you did your calculation and you come up with delta T, after you just plug these in, you come up with delta T is equal to two. Great, so your delta T is equal to two. Guaranteed on the exam, one of the answers will be two. But wait, what was the question? If the question was, what will be the difference or the, uh, for the boiling point elevation, then you would be correct, it's two. But if the question was, what is the new boiling point of the solution, then the answer certainly wouldn't be two degrees Celsius. The new boiling point of the solution, this only provides delta T, so you have to add the T to the 100 degrees, which we know is the boiling point of water. So the answer would be 102 degrees Celsius. And so you wouldn't choose two as the answer. So delta T is a very important part of the equation to understand that you have to manipulate it. And of course, the exam will also have 98 degrees to just see whether or not you thought that it was boiling point depression instead of boiling point elevation, which occurs definitively as a consequence of the colligative properties. Another important point. Let's say that we took sugar and we put some sugar in water. So we know that the sugar will dissolve in the water. And uh, we took that water and we tried to look, find its new boiling point. And its new boiling point was, let's say it was 102 degrees Celsius. So, then they ask you, take the same amount of salt, the identical molality of salt and add it to the water, what would the new boiling point be? You may want to take a moment to consider this and pause and then come back and we'll discuss it. The new boiling point would be 104 degrees Celsius. And this is the reason. The boiling point constant is constant and it is the constant for that solvent. So we didn't change solvents, we didn't change from water to ethylene or something, so we stayed with water, so the boiling point constant remains the same. Molality, that remains the same because we said we'll take I the identical quantity of salt as we did sugar. But what about the number of particles? Well, for salt, because salt is NaCl, and that dissolves into Na plus, plus Cl minus, well, we have two particles. And that means that the number I for salt will be two, whereas for sugar, it was just one. So because this becomes two, whatever the delta T was before, now it's going to be two times that number. So if the delta T was two degrees, 
meaning you had a boiling point elevation from 100 to 102 degrees, so the delta T is 2, well now the delta T will be 4, because we now have two particles instead of just one. Because the delta T is 4, the new boiling point will be 104 degrees Celsius. And finally, with regards to freezing point depression, it is essentially the same equation, where we get delta T is equal to I F M, where I again is the number of particles, because this refers to colligative properties, F is the freezing point constant, and M the mol molality.